Wow, what a day in the stock market. Look at this trading day right here. Off the open, first of all, we came in to the day being up a lot in the futures market, which you know doesn't mean that much. You know, what happens overnight is not really going to affect what happens during our trading day. But what, what it can do is it could give us some nice levels to look at. So I always do that. But that being said, we were up a lot. And now look at these flushes that we saw or we're seeing right now on the S&P 500. Uh, really, really big moves. And I was able to take advantage of that right up here. So we consolidated from 10 o'clock until 11 o'clock. So one hour of this sideways action coming up to this level and could not break it. So once something hits this many times and pulls on back, I would really caution you if you're long looking for the breakout to maybe cut your losses or at least wait until you get that breakout because this did the total opposite. And, you know, at 11 o'clock in the morning, we started to notice these really, really big, big red candles. I mean, a lot of volume. If we pull up the volume profile here. You'll see here massive, massive amounts of selling. That's what we're seeing. So a lot of selling took advantage of that up $133.75 once we got that breakdown. So once we get that breakdown, consolidation, more breakdown, okay? Around the key level, we start to make a recovery, okay? This is an epic bull trap. So it consolidates and then it breaks out to the upside instead of breaking down further, which is what people were expecting to happen. So instead, the market makers, they love to do this. They let everybody get in here. Oh, I'm gonna go for a dip buy. They grab all your liquidity for this half an hour, 15 minutes or so, and then they dump it right back. So, uh, you know, we're currently up 13 points, uh, you know, at the moment on the S&P 500, still in the green on the S&P 500, but this trading action is just dangerous. And something I noticed this morning, and I'm just gonna share with you guys here, our Discord, something I noticed was the VIX this morning. The VIX was up over a percent when the entire world was up. This was very, very curious to me of why the fear index, why the fear gauge was up when the entire world was up so much. 571 points, um, in uh, China, 154 up in Japan. Um, you know, the DAX over in Germany up 128. Beautiful moves. Uh, the FTSE over in the UK up 91 points. All these up well over a percent. Our futures at the time, well over a percent. And the VIX was up instead of down. That was really unnerving to me. And now you're starting to see, you know, when something doesn't make sense like that, and, you know, the whole world is really in the green and up all the markets, that VIX should be coming down, not going up. So that was really, really strange to see. So, you know, we're seeing that real, really take place right now. The volatility which is the VIX, is showing right now. So now we're up 11 points, uh, give or take. Where we end up, who knows? But I just take advantage when I see outsized 
really big moves like this. So just getting short these moves up here, getting short those moves, trying to catch these really big um, red candles on the way down. So that's how I traded today, 133.75, like I said. I hope that you guys enjoy these videos. Um, please hit the thumbs up for me, and I'll see you back on the next one. Take care, guys.